I cover a lot of homebrew games and releases on my channel, and this one's pretty special. This is for the CDI, and this is, comes from Good Deal Games, and it's Nobilia. I think I'm saying that right. Sorry if I'm not. And this is a cross between a Zelda and Bomberman style game. Pretty advanced for a homebrew game, 30 levels, and you know, I'm actually gonna be running this on original hardware and capturing footage through a Retro Tink 5X. So here we go, and comes with a uh, simple packaging, and it's $34.95 at Good Deal Games, available now. And I heard about this, I do believe online, I, I, I saw a posting on this, I think on Atari Age, and you know, was excited to see a new CDI release. And so, and you open up the case here, and it shows a simple map, controls, and looks like a professionally pressed uh, disc. And here is uh, the different locations that you can check out in the game. Objects, some of the magic. You can find seven coins located uh, around the map. I'm gonna show a first look. This is the hardware that I'm running on. It's very rare and it's a Gold Star portable CDI unit. It came out very late. There's, there, there's, I don't know how many of these were made, but this is uh, one of the more rare items uh, hardware-wise I have in my collection. So the serial number is 38 on it. And so it, this one's kind of special to me. I, I use this to capture CDI footage as it's uh, very portable and it works, it works great. And I'm using one of these controllers. There's different controllers for the CDI. Um, I'm using this one, here we go. And uh, this uh, is done from this company. And you know, I don't know how many other games they've done, but this has a built-in timer. And so for speedrunners, this is a game for you. Uh, again, I'm just gonna do a first look. I'm not gonna ruin the experience for people uh, that wanna still play this. It, it, it is available now and the first run is being released. So I'm just gonna start a new game. And so it definitely has that Zelda look, but as you will see, it does have a nod to Bomberman. And so uh, simple control and you're, you're waiting here and then this uh, well will open up and it will warp you to uh, a different area. So yes, it, it's cool. It's got some uh, pretty nice 16-bit style graphics, nice music. And here we go. And so you're you're initially looking for your first bombs and you know, uh, it's got an overworld. The music is a nice match with the gameplay and I really like it. And you know, the, the CDI is not known for great games. So any, any homebrew that is worth playing is a thumbs up for me. And so far, I like this one. So, you know, you're, you're moving your character and you're looking around, uh, we're looking for bombs. And this definitely, this, this level here, this part right here, that definitely reminds me of, of Zelda. And you know, you have different traps and things that can take you out, but you start right there, that's nice. And you gotta avoid everything, so. There's certain devices on each level. So I gotta, I gotta go over here and I gotta get that. Okay, so that will open the center switch is now available to hit. So when I go over here, yep, okay, so those are been, those, the traps have been deactivated. Go up here. So you can see that, you know, I love that you can see other parts of the area that you need to go to or eventually get to, but you can't get to them yet. I always love that about, uh, you know, games such as like Metroid and Legend of Zelda. They did a good job of like, hey, look what you can get to eventually, but you can't get there right now. <laughs> so you got this slow moving bat that's, uh, or monster that's chasing you down and you gotta hit all these levers here, unlocks things.
definitely recommend a good controller for the CDI. And uh, they are kind of expensive to find now, but if you can get a good one, it's gonna it's gonna make your life a lot easier, and it makes this game uh, more playable for sure. So yep, I tried bombing here. I probably could have done that, but anyways, found my way back out, and then you go over here, and I'm gonna show you this. I'm not gonna show you all of them, but you bomb that. Definitely a nod to Zelda, and uh, eventually he'll go over there. I'm gonna take that out so you can bomb those, and it opens the world up. Once you have your bombs, it kind of the game starts. You go in here, and you get your coin. And so there's seven of them. The goal is to get all of them. And as you can see, there's a timer, and that's just you know for speedrunners, that's awesome. That has a built-in uh, timer, shows you how how much you've played. And then it opens up. So here, this is kind of where the game, I, I think, kind of starts. You're going around, checking out things, and discovering different puzzles. So yeah, when you set off a bomb, you want to make sure that you're not anywhere near it, as it'll hurt you. And that opens that up, and then off you're off to the races. Can I get over here? Can I go over here? Nope, that doesn't do anything. Okay. I don't know why I tried it again, but all right. Off to show you more of the world. Fun little game, though. I think there's a lot of uh, puzzle aspect aspects of this game. I think a lot of people are going to enjoy it, especially if you're kind of a puzzle adventure fan, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, definitely, uh, you know, the, the gameplay is a little bit like Bomberman, but it definitely has a look of Zelda suit. Now, this, this area here is tons of transport, so you're being warped around to different parts, and you gotta figure out what to do. Different enemies there. Hmm. I'll go over here. There is some backtracking in this game. Nice looking game though. I really like what they've done here. I mean for CDI, for sure. Uh, you know, uh, CDI, you know, a lot of people, you look at the library, I, I did a bad games on CDI. There are some good games. Uh, and you know, the, the CDI was a dismal failure. You know, I think Phillips, I think lost a, like a billion dollars on trying to promote this hardware um, it just never it, it it never hit mainstream there was tons of different hardware made and there was some games and uh, it was just kind of failed media for sure but you know they, there is some aftermarket games good deal games actually actually has tons of aftermarket games from different consoles sometimes they get games from other companies and they'll offer them and, and such as this. They didn't make this game, but they are uh, they are offering it on their site. So I have dealt with Good Deal Games for many, many years. Great, great place to get aftermarket games. Very professional. And so I wanna say thank you. So yep, uh, definitely this is a, a thumbs up for me so far. I, I'm, I'm trying to figure it out and looking around, this is definitely uh, in this area, there is a lot of transports that are gonna go back and forth. And so finding where to go next is kind of an experimentation, just like any Zelda game or you know any adventure game. But I think, I think there's a lot to be, uh, to like about this game. So really excited to see, uh, you know, a CDI game of this quality. Uh, affordable price too, you know, I know that, um, some aftermarket games can be expensive. I think $34.95 is a, a very affordable price for a physical release on disc. Unknown if it's gonna be released any other way for people that are already gonna ask. <laughs> so yeah, just wanted to show a little bit of gameplay. Thank you for coming to my channel. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and click the bell as I'm uploading videos every week. 
You folks are wonderful and beautiful. I really enjoy offering these uh, aftermarket experiences and sharing with you what's out there. This is the immortal John Hancock and you have a good day.